Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run Kali Linux inside of Windows in a virtual machine. So for that we're going to first download the required files. We're going to go to the website of uh, Oracle VirtualBox. And we're going to download the Windows host. And also we need the extension pack, okay? So now that we have these two, we're going to go ahead and download Kali Linux. So for that we go on the website of Kali Linux, it's kali.org. I will leave all the links on the description below. You go ahead, you have the download section, Kali Linux. And here you can either download it through torrent or straight away there. So I'm going to go to take the 64 bits straight away there. While it's downloading, I'm going to install the virtual box. And once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the virtual machine. Before that, we're going to first go and install the extension pack. So for that, we go here in extensions. We choose the little plus and we select the file that we just downloaded. Press install. We're going to scroll down and agree. OK, and it's supposed to be installed. So now we can create the machine. We're going to go into new. You write the name as you wish, and then on the version you need to go for Debian 64-bit. Then the memory is the RAM that you want to choose. I will put 8 gigas. It depends on how much you have. And then for the hard drive, you need to use a virtual disk image. And we're going to use a dynamic allocated site. And, uh, I recommend minimum 20 gigas. I will go ahead with 25. And now it's created, so we need to go and go into settings and change some settings. For example, here in advanced, I will choose a be directional so I can get my files from Windows here very easily. In system, you can go into processor. It depends how many cores you have, and you can change how many you want. In display, also 128 megabits. And as storage, you're going to select the ISO image of Kali Linux that you downloaded before. I will leave also all the steps below in case you want to have a look. But it should look like this. And then you just need to run, start, it's going to take a while, and go through the installation of Linux into the hard drive that it's supposed to be empty. And you just need to follow the steps, you know, select the language, the country, and the location, your keyboard, as you will do for any operative system or phone, as you can see, as many different uh, types of layouts. So my keyboard is English, British English, so I go ahead. And then for network, I will leave it as it is, as Kali. And uh, the domain name, I will leave it empty. And then my name as new user, I will go ahead and write Spitfire. And then you just need to choose a password. Then you configure the clock according to where you selected the location. For the partition, I will go as uh, using the entire disk. This is the virtual disk, so I'll go ahead and delete everything and create all the partitions automatically. As you can see, you have uh, x 4 and the swap partition as normal Linux finishing. 
Are you sure you want to erase and make changes? Yes, continue. And this will take a while. Depends on the speed of your computer, but it can take easily 10-15 minutes. Once you get here, I will go ahead into the customization. I will choose the large one. So we'll have most of the programs and this is when the installation is done. This is the longest part of the installation. And now it's going to ask you if you want to install the grub as bootloader. I will leave it as it is. Yes, continue. And now it's complete. So you go ahead, press continue. And then it's supposed to reboot and start straight away. So then you put your username and password. And if you forgot to install the additions, you can go ahead, mount the addition uh, image. Okay, it's already mounted, so I can't unmount it, but you will have the disk there. You open it. And then the easy way to do it, I will take all the, f all the files, I will copy them into downloads. You paste them there. And now we're going to install them through the terminal. So we're going to go ahead into terminal here. And the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and put this command line. It's going to be cd space downloads. That means changing the directory into downloads. Then ls to list all the files inside. And as you can see, here's the vbox linux additions. That's the one we need. So I'm going to go ahead and write the next command line. It's going to be chmod plus x and then you put the same file name um, I did a mistake as you can see it has to be exactly the same characters so the B should be capital letter otherwise I'm not gonna run and this command was for me to be able to use the installation into Linux, so sudo, I will go as administrator, vbox, linux additions.run, and now I should be able to run it through Linux. You put your password, and then you have this prompt, you need to write yes, press enter, and it's going to install all the modules and all the required files. And that's it. Now you should be able to put everything in full screen and have everything as it's supposed to. I will go I will eject the disk, I don't need it anymore. And if you want to play a bit around, you can see you have a lot of uh, software. And that's it guys. I hope you learned something new today and I see you in the next video. Once again thank you for watching.